Greetings shooters and reloaders. So today I want to talk about resizing, how to set up your resizing die. And mostly I'm going to talk about full length resizing, but there's other methods of resizing also. There's neck sizing, which just, uh, as it states, resizes of the neck of the case. And that's only good if you're using that cartridge in the same firearm. Um, it won't, it most likely wouldn't chamber in another firearm. Um, or in a semi-auto, it probably wouldn't be reliable. So neck sizing is kind of reserved for somebody that's maybe doing long range precision shooting or something like that. And they're shooting the same cartridge in the same rifle all the time. They can do neck sizing. Um, there's also something called bump sizing, which kind of along the same lines as neck sizing. And it just bumps the shoulder back slightly. Um, again, that's pretty much reserved for precision shooters. Um, and then there's partial resizing where you take a full length resizer die and you only partially size the case. But for right now, don't concern yourself with those methods. Um, if, if you're new to reloading, just full length resize. And um, I'm gonna show you how to set up your resizing die for that. And um, read the instructions on your die set because they're all a little different. Hornady dies will tell you to um, run the resizing die down until it touches the shell holder and that's it. Lee dies will tell you to, to run it down until it touches and then go another quarter turn. Um, RCBS will tell you to run it down until it touches the shell holder and then go another eighth turn. So read the instructions to make sure you know what you've got and what it recommends. But it's a simple process. So this is a, a single stage press and um, I have, as you can see, I have the proper shell holder in, I have the ram up and I'm just going to screw the die down until it touches the shell holder. So now it's, it's touching the shell holder. So now I'm going to lift the handle to lower the ram and then I'm going to turn it another quarter of a turn like that and on my press it'll kind of you can feel it kind of cam over um, other presses might be different um, I'm not familiar with those um, but a lot of the single stage presses like this will they have a cam over feel and, and that just tells you that it's, it's it's going as far as it can go the next thing you're gonna do then is you're gonna need to lube your your cases now I have a this is kind of an old-fashioned method that I like to do, but it works for me. Um, you may like spray-on lubes instead. If that works for you, that's fine. This is what I prefer. I put lube on this pad, and then I just roll them on here like this. And then once I do that, then it's just a matter of taking that cartridge, putting it in, running it up, and you can feel it resize and you'll feel kind of feel the primer pop out because it's decapping at the same time. So now that has been full length resized. And then, like I said before, I recommend have a case checker. So now we can check this and see, and see there how it, it goes in perfectly, perfectly flush. So we know that's gonna, that's gonna chamber in, uh, in my firearm. And this will be good for any gun, semi-auto, bolt action, doesn't matter. Um, so it's a pretty easy process. And what I do is, I, uh, I'll resize and deprime maybe one or 200 at a time. And then uh, once I have that done, um, then I go to the next step, which is trimming if they need to be trimmed. Um, and then after that, it's charging them and seating the bullet so that's um, basically all there is to resizing um, but the main thing is is know what kind of die you have is it a full length or is it a neck sizing die um, some some die kits like this this is a Lee they call it their um, what do they call it I think it's called the uh, ultimate but anyway, this is a combination of um, 
full length resizing. It has a full length resizing die in it, and then it also has a neck sizing die. So this this die set will do both. Um, here's another one from Lee. This is for seven by 57 Mauser. And this is just a neck sizing die only. So if I want a full length resize, I have to have another die for that, which I do. And then here's a, an old Pacific, and um, that's a full length die set. And Read, the, read your instructions, like I said, because, for instance, Pacific tells you to run the die down until it touches the shell holder and then lock it in place, and that's it. Hornady will tell you, or um, not Hornady, but um, RCBS will tell you to run it down until it touches the shell holder and then screw it down another uh, quarter turn. Um, so they're all a little bit different. Uh, so read your instructions and make sure you... Uh, you follow that, and if you do that, um, resizing is not a complicated process. It should go just fine for you. So that's all for now. So until next time, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and I'll see you on the range.